Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DRRX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis on Friday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. And overall, everything is still perfectly fine. Uh, the chart's a little tricky to talk about, and I say that because th th there's a lot of uh, perspective that go into it. So from a presentation standpoint, uh, you know, there's many angles I could take, but what do I mean by perspective? Well, if you're some sort of day trader and you bought right there, and your plan was to buy and sell, you know, within uh, 10 minutes. Well then, yeah, from that point of view, the chart's looking pretty rough. Now, if you care about the big picture, sure, from the highs, there was the pullback today, but from the grand scheme of it all, the price still does still have plenty of opportunity to build an overall higher base. And as long as higher bases are being built over longer periods of time, that's how true, you know, truly strong moves are gonna be built. So that's also gonna be the, the viewpoint that I take, uh, you know, kind of talk about going forward. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, then yeah, my guess would be you probably had more of a day trading perspective, but let's just do this, and I'm not saying this is what's going to happen at all, but just to take more of an extreme case, let's say that this thing pulled all the way down here to right around 65, behave like that, and then started to work its way back upwards. Again, I'm not saying that's what's going to occur, but just kind of really illustrate this point about how that would still be, technically speaking, from the big picture point of view, a bullish situation, because what would you have in that scenario? Well, you'd have a big set of lows right here, you'd have these lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, what do you have? Well, hey, now you would have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. So sure, of, of course, holding up above 75 cents here would definitely be the best case scenario, but it really could still, you know, theoretically speaking, go all the way down there and still give the opportunity for the, the price to build that overall higher base. Again, I'm well aware that if you're some sort of day trader, and you bought up there, then you definitely don't care about these stair steps, but that's why I try to offer up a warning that I would be commenting from a bigger picture point of view. So sure, today the price pulled back from its highs, but stop and think about that word today, as in one day, looking at multiple days, which is what we're doing here. You can see the price does still have an opportunity to build an overall higher base. So let's see if the bulls can get that job done or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.